gonna throw. Be careful. She has never explored life outside of a concrete pit for two decades. The story of poaching is a story of an older elephant stolen from the wild, imported into a zoo that didn't have the capacity, didn't have the space. She's lived one of the most confined lives I've ever seen. Completely void of anything natural. She was bred in captivity. Gizemina, her daughter, she's never explored life outside of concrete pit. They haven't experienced freedom to explore wild vegetation, picking grass, eating dirt. So many people in these Argentine cities are saying enough. We have to do better. We can do profoundly better. And it's our time to give these elephants a new life. Mendoza Zoo started transforming and they want to send as many animals as possible to sanctuaries internationally. Today, Pochen and Gujimina leave their concrete hole. We're able to bring these to the sanctuary where they can have a protected space and they continue to grow and evolve with mother and daughter. I believe they know an element of what's happening. But I don't think they know the magnitude with which their world is about to change. They don't have a good foundation. To be released in the wild, the best opportunity for these girls, give them a life here that is incredible. There she is. We open it up, we give them a chance to come out. It's kind of on their terms, how long it takes. Their releases were very slow. <laughs> Sometimes they want to reach out and say hi, but they may not be ready yet. They stop and analyze and to take a little step forward. Okay, that was a little much. Take two steps forward. Think about it. Whoa, overwhelming, you take back. This space where she is now, some people are noticing the bars, but this is just at the barn where she needs to feel safe and secure. And once they're safe and comfortable in their first enclosure, we open up the first yard for them to go outside. But they're still intimidated by the barn right now. Let's explore a new area. Oh, that was cool, but yeah, they're a little scary at the same time. But each day becomes more comfortable where they can feel what it is like to be an elephant. Those most simple elements of just giving them mud allows them to adapt and learn to be at one with the environment around them. They're very playful. They're very silly, they're very animated. They're having fun in the mud, they're having fun in the sand and, and playing in the water. I see a different light in their face. Definitely a different brightness in their eye. They're exploring, you can see them, they're getting a little closer to going out to shoot. They're looking for the next step. And then they went off and started exploring other spaces together. I don't think she understands that there's much less taller grass mm. for the yeah. <laughs> It's like, this is wonderful, it's my piece of heaven, but there's more heaven out there. Right now we have five other elephants here. They have a new family of elephant sanctuary individuals. The healing has already started. They get to explore all these little simple pleasures that really allow them to find a new life. A life where they can recover and explore the unimaginable. <laughs>